Welcome to WCBS880.com. I am Felix De Jesus, and you are watching Yankees Daily. This program is brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be before and after the game. Tonight, the Yankees play the first game of a three-game series against Atlanta after an off day on Monday and dropping two of three games at Florida. The Yankees also will play the Mets on this road trip. It will be the first ever visit to the Mets City Field. The Yankees are 4-5 and five so far in interleague play. Tonight, Ching Ming Wang will try and get his first win of the season. Today, we have an interview with Dave Duncan, pitching coach of the St. Louis Cardinals. With uh, Coach Dave Duncan of the St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, Dave, first of all, the uh, Cardinals uh, playing in a tough division, uh, but Albert Pujols uh, is doing a great job with you guys. How are you doing, Dave? He's, ph he's phenomenal. Uh, you know, we, we can't get over it ourselves because we know how difficult the other teams are trying to pitch him. He very seldom gets anything to hit. Uh, a lot of the balls he has to hit are outside the strike zone. So in, in spite of that, he's putting up huge numbers. So he's incredible. Dave, of course, the father of Shelly Duncan and Chris Duncan. If you could please tell us first of uh, Shelly. I know he's playing in uh, scranton wilkes -Barre. How's uh, he's uh, How's he doing down there? He's doing good. Um, I think he just dropped below 300 uh, just this week, but he's got 20 home runs and I uh, believe 61 RBIs, which leads the league in both departments. And uh, um, Playing hard, you know, hoping to get back to the big leagues. He's a favorite with the Yankee fans uh, because of his way, uh, the way he is. Uh, he's been brought up uh, tremendously. But uh, if it's not with the Yankees, uh, Dave, what team do you think he can fit in the major leagues with? Well, as we travel around, I, I look at a lot of clubs that uh, have a need that he could give them, you know, uh, whether it be a part-time outfielder or platoon outfielder or first base or, or even coming off the bench and uh, uh, giving you a good at bat. Uh, but there's a lot of a lot of National League clubs that uh, uh, he would fit in good with. Uh, I, can't, I, I don't want to name them, but uh, I recognize it. I kind of look at it when we're playing other teams. And in regards to Chris, I mean, is he comfortable here? Would you see him much closer? Uh, how's the situation with Chris? Is he okay here with the Cardinals? Oh, yeah, he's doing good. Uh, he... he uh, He's getting a lot of playing time, a lot of at-bats, uh, struggled a little bit, uh, well, he had a great April, struggled a little bit in May. Uh, he's starting to swing the bat good again now, so uh, uh, th that's baseball, though. It has its ups and downs, and uh, uh, for most of, the, most of the people, not Pujols, but uh, most everybody else, and, and he's doing fine with it. Dave, you considered uh, together with Tony uh, two of the best in the business. Um, this Cardinal team is in a tough division because even the last place team is only a couple of games behind. What does it have to do to uh, win this division? Well, I think we, we have to stay healthy, number one. I, I don't think we have the depth to overcome uh, uh, any kind of injury to our starting staff. Um, uh, a key player uh, offensively if we were to lose uh, it'd be hard to replace so uh, that's our number one thing is stay healthy and continue to play hard every day and see where the chips fall remember this program was brought to you in part by billy sports barn